And we will get back into his biggest questions concerning it. Uh, but Wolfgang, thanks for coming on. Thank you, Alex. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you. I appreciate you coming on. Go ahead. Well, you know, I really wish you could have gone on this trip. And uh, I think it's important that every listener uh, clearly understands that do I want to be doing this? Absolutely not. I'm retired. I mean, I got my AAP card. Had these police officers, had the homicide investigators not come to my home a week before Christmas, Newtown would have never heard of Wolfgang Haldig. Nobody would have ever heard of me because, you know, as a national school safety consultant, I simply was sending the FOIA request, Connecticut Freedom of Information request, asking simple questions that's not offensive to any of those parents parents who supposedly lost a child, not offensive to Danbury police or the Connecticut State Police. And to this day, they don't return phone calls. They refuse to respond to any, any Connecticut Freedom of Information Act. And when we were at the school board, you know, I had three minutes. I had a chance to talk to them. And I said, you know, Chairman, you talk about honesty, that everybody's supposed to be honest here in this room. Where's the honesty? Why don't you return phone calls? Why can't you respond to simple FOIA requests? I mean, you're an educational institution. You're supposed to know how to communicate. And what really was important is that in March, Alex, in March, the Freedom of Information Commission out of Hartford, Connecticut, actually sent an instructor to Newtown, to Sandy Hook, to teach them on how to respond to FOIA requests, that they cannot ignore them, that if they are public documents, they need to be presented. I mean, they actually had somebody there before I got there to teach them how to do it and what they must do. And guess what? They're in defiance of him. They're not even listening to their own freedom commissioner. Unbelievable. And it is unbelievable. And, and, and we actually aired a few nights ago uh, on the InfoWars Nightly News the video of that transpiring. You're going to send us the video of going to the United Way and being blocked, uh, which you were telling us is illegal. We're going to get to that in a moment. Uh, but we do have that video and that special report. We will play your three minutes uh, coming up. But why do you think they're acting so desperate uh, to uh, block you and, and, and tell folks what happened at the United Way? They're not answering those questions because I think it's going to expose their whole scam. I mean, the questions, you know, they come from my background as a law enforcement officer and customs agent. I think you need to know when you have a security system, you should know who installed the security system. How much did you pay for it? What did you put in? I mean, you ought to have emails between the principal and the school district talking about work orders, talking about finance, transportation. I mean, it actually will tell you whether the school... There's no actually, history. Uh, there's no history. There's no nothing. There's no, yeah, there's, they don't want to respond. See, that's the whole thing. When you don't respond, it raises the red flag. And this has been going on for 11 months. And they don't even return a phone call. Me as a principal, Alex, I may not like you as a parent, but if you call me, I have a responsibility. I've got to call you back. This district, they just do whatever they want. Very suspicious. And when we come back, uh, I, I want you to recap for folks uh, as an investigator and as a school safety expert uh, who's, again, been been sourced and used on CBS you know, News, you name it, uh, a leading national expert, you know, coming out and saying this doesn't fit. In the next six-minute segment, Wolfgang, I want you to come back and explain to people, but, 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 but in 30 seconds, what's the biggest smoking gun that tells you this thing is staged? Well, it starts at the United Way Western Connecticut. If there's one thing we learned about people in America is always follow the money. And I think when you look at the amount of money that has been poured into Sandy Hook and Newtown because of this incident, it all starts at the United Way, Western Connecticut, who actually, I mean, you saw it advertised three days before the shooting. They were looking to solicit money three days before the shooting. And I think the big red flag is the Connecticut Attorney General's report on his findings. We're going to talk about that, Wolfgang. Stay there. Yeah. And... and Bloomberg, this is in the news. He false started the day before as well. I mean, they were licking their lips. We'll be right back. This is hardcore information. This could bring them down, folks. Stay with us.
You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation. And man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com and all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. It's been said, those who control the food control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by Patriots for Patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. Alex Jones here, back live, school safety expert, former state trooper. Wolfgang W. Halbig has done what he said he'd do. He's gone to Connecticut to investigate Sandy Hook and all of the weird anomalies and just the, the clear fraud here and now the massive cover-up. So break down, sir, just to a lay person out there, the smoking guns of this and why you started investigating and why they're so desperate to try to intimidate you. Well, it goes it goes back as we ended the uh, the break is that this is all about the money. I think it's all about the money and what really caught my attention was the letters that were drafted uh, that were actually written to two nonprofits called the United Way Western Connecticut and the Sandy Hook Promise Fund which is a pass-through 
from the United Way, Western Connecticut. And the Connecticut Attorney General, his name is George Jespin. I mean, I'm looking at his letter, and he really, really told them that, you know, as fiduciaries, that they are accountable to the public, and they must be transparent in every way since they're soliciting and they're recruiting funds from major corporations that they must be open, transparent. And also he made a big note that if they are select, if they are soliciting money under false pretenses, that they need to be very, very careful. I understand. We'll get into all the minutia of an investigator trying to get in, but why are you saying United Way is so important? I mean, what are the big smoking guns? Because I know you're inside this investigation, but for folks out there, what are the red flags? Well, the red flag is that you're looking at $29 million. You got the United Way, Sandy Hook Promise, and there are 39 other uh, community nonprofit organizations within Newtown, uh, which received a lot of funds. For an example, the animal shelter in Newtown, Sandy Hook, Alex, they got $450,000 from the Sandy Hook shooting. Now, what does an animal shelter have to do with the Sandy I understand. Hook You're shooting? saying the motive for the locals to go along with the fraud is money. Absolutely. I get that. I'm talking about the, the crime scene itself. Recap that. Well, the crime scene itself is, you know, it, it's just, it's not the way we in law enforcement respond to any type of a shots fired or 911 calls. It just does not make sense. And I go back to the very beginning. Any listener, I think the only way I think your listeners will understand whether they're grandparents, parents, guardians, you have to actually, actually close your eyes and pretend that you had a child at Sandy Hook that morning on December 14, 2012. You really have to pretend that you heard on the news there were shots fired. And all of a sudden, your heart starts racing, and you get to that school. And all of a sudden, you know that somebody says, oh, I think your little girl or little boy was shot, and they might be seriously injured. And then you all of a sudden learn that nobody, somebody at that school did not bother to even order the trauma helicopters. I mean, that is unheard of. I don't care where you go in this country or around the world. You get the medical help. You get the best in the air as quick as possible. Bottom line, there was a stand down. Uh, and that, and, and you've, you've blueprinted all that out on your website, but I saw it happen. What about the kids going in circles back and forth, the same people, into the school for the helicopters? It looked like a fake drill. What about the guy in the woods that got picked up in the same outfit who was part of the anti-terror team? Uh, what about, I mean, just go through those points. Well, you know, okay, I, I'm, I'm glad you should remind I mean, I'm trying to stay focused just on the kids and not having trauma helicopters, and I cannot believe they didn't let paramedics or EMTs in. People they actually caught in the woods, and you can hear the words even in the police recordings. They've got them pruned out. Alex, they got him handcuffed. One of the people actually is carrying a firearm. He's got a firearm that they caught in the woods. But do you think they would have run his name to the computer database? Do you think they would have run a 1028, 1029, check him through the NCIC computers to see if there's any outstanding warrants? Alex, we don't even see their names. Every person that was apprehended. Handcuffed, taken in the police. The cover-up is the prima facie proof of the larger crime and that we're being lied to. Absolutely. I, you know what? I don't see it. You know, I wanted to say that at the board meeting, that if you go home tonight and you turn those lights out when you're about to go to sleep, how in the world can you live with this? There are so many lies there. And it's not just by the school board member. It's by the, it's by the Danbury Police Department, Connecticut State Trooper. You know, if, when you read the police reports, that's not how we write police reports. Remember, each one of those reports, Alex, are taken under oath. They swore that this information... They so you're a top school safety expert and, and, and have been a customs official and a police officer. You know bull when you see it. I, I don't have all that background. I know bull when I see it. I mean, you got Anderson Cooper in green screens saying he's out there. I mean, this is it, it, the whole thing. And then you've got them jumping the gun. I mean, I think that's really big that Bloomberg was saying, get ready the day before, get ready to fundraise on mass shootings. You know, on your mark, get set, boom, pull the trigger too early. Had a false start, didn't you, Bloom me? We'll be right back. Stay with us. We're on the march. The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network.